We have just heard from the Passion account of St. Luke. Pondering Jesus' suffering and death leads me, probably all of us, to ask this question. How much are you and I worth? So the world has its way of determining that. Okay? Our physical appearance, our weight, our money, our possessions, our achievements, our status, whatever else. Okay, it's all based on material things and maybe once in a while some characteristics of quality or virtue. But that all passes away. So how, how are we worth something? Now again, external criteria are one thing. Internally, though, we may be looking very good on the outside. But some of us, because of life experiences, especially in our growing up days, in a profound, a profound sense, of not being worth very much. And that we are not unlovable, we are unlovable, not lovable. However, what our lives are worth to God shines clearly through today's gospel. Christ considers, God, I should say, Father, the Father considers us so valuable that he's the only son he surrendered and gave his life so that we might live forever. If God thought you and I were cheap, expendable, or a dime a dozen, he wouldn't have bothered. But through the suffering and death and resurrection of Jesus, we know how precious we are in God's sight. How precious is the Lord Jesus? What value do we place on his life? Judas received 30 pieces of silver to betray him, that was an intentional insult from the leaders. You paid such a fine for injuring a slave in the Roman Empire. More symbolically, we can read in Matthew's Gospel, not today, that an unnamed woman will anoint the head of Jesus with an alabaster jar of costly perfume, although the disciples objected, thinking it should be sold and the money given to the poor. But the point is, they missed the point, okay? Our salvation is won by Jesus offering his human body and soul on the cross to the Father in heaven. Better to note also in John's passion, we'll hear John's passion on, on this Good Friday. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus anointed Jesus' dead body with over a hundred pounds of costly spices. An extravagant amount fit only for a king. Ah, the king of kings, lord of lords. Yes, the very body of Jesus, the very life of Jesus is priceless. He is, after all, the God-man. And if his life is priceless, then how precious and priceless must ours be that he would sacrifice his precious life on the cross for our sake. The cross shows us more than anything else how profoundly we are loved and cherished by our God. So perhaps it's, we have an earthly criteria or criterion to determine our worth, but I know how, how much we are worth. We are of inestimable value. We cannot estimate in God's eyes how valuable we are. Let us live in that truth. Let this Holy Week bring that point home from the head to the heart. We are that precious, cherished, and valuable to our God. And let us share such good news with those we meet on life's journey. May your celebrations and my celebrations of the solemn liturgies of Holy Week and Easter lead us to see Jesus more clearly, love him more dearly, and follow him more completely. <laughs>